water of course and juice. hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is ruth i'm very sure you're surprised what is this girl doing with food in front of her anyways i decided to do the mukbang thing with the story time so i'll be telling you guys about my one minute away from being homeless yes i was about to be evicted from my house so yeah so you guys will join me today i have with is an african food nigerian to be specific so i have wheat i use wheat and i have um in my language we call it lala soup so okra soup with mede mede <laughs> it has goat meat and cow meat yeah i didn't put fish or anything i just did whatever i had at home so yeah i had that it's a very nice meal and if you're yet to taste it try it out so if you guys if you eat this let me know in the comment section below and if you want to try it let me know down below probably i'll put a recipe how to make it down below so yeah so we're going to eat this and i'll tell you my story of how i was one minute away from being evicted or one minute away from being homeless actually yeah homeless and carried by the police yeah arrested that was my story <laughs> that was my story so join me oh and i'm using weight because i feel like i should not deceive myself it's a way of losing weight that's what i tell myself but you can't die and i have here with me zobo if you know um some people call it zobo in the caribbean they call it sorrel or abiscus leaf drink yeah so Ooh. and water of course and juice in case i need so i'm just going to wash my hand in the water is a plain clean water so yeah i'm going to be using our natural God giving cutlery, <laughs> cutlery today. So, Ooh. come and join me if you want to. Probably you can go to your kitchen and make one, and you know, join me. Ooh. I know some of you will be thinking, why is it this color and not red as per the usual? It's because I didn't use palm oil. It's oilless, so it's for more healthier to lose weight after Corona. So yeah. Let me start. That day, I was supposed to pay my rent, and actually, I've, I was supposed to pay my rent on the 10th, and I couldn't get money for it. And my dad was like, Oh, da 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 da, Nigeria is not that easy. And I'm a student, and I'm in a new city. Can you imagine? Homeless in a new city. Oh, I was just crying. I didn't actually know what to do. And human beings were so funny that. When we're supposed to pray, we don't pray. We leave God for the last, as far as the last result of someone to go and meet. So I didn't do any of that. Then the time I was done, like I told my landlady, okay, my landlord, sorry, I was like, okay, I can't pay the rent then, but I promise on the 16th I'm going to pay. It was like, if you don't pay it on the 16th, I'm going to call the police on you. And this white people, they have no chill. This one was like, I'm going to get you out of the house. And I'm like, hey, God. What kind of ally is this one? I was not calling her. I was calling everybody. Then, I okay, sustains came. My dad was still telling me the same thing. He was like, oh, just talk to him. You know, those African parents that would be like, just pray about it. Tell God about it. And I'm like, this is not about prayer. This is, I need an intervention, brother. <laughs> Don't call your father, brother. You'll be on your own. So I was like, I need an intervention. Something, something. I'm in a new city. They are white people. They are going to throw me out. And he has already threatened me with police, with the police, with the police force. And because the last time I paid late too, and this time around the same thing. Hey, the devil is a liar. Wait, let me take one, one biz. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, the devil is a liar. How is that possible? Something, something. I'm like, ah. I started crying. That's all I could do. You know, it gets to the point that you cry so much that you now come back to the result of what should be your first. Now became my last. And that was prayers. So I was, I just decided to pray. And there was this song that came to my head. Um, yes and amen. And it will do it again. If he did it before, he would not the one by Trevor. It's, he would, 
he, he will do it again. Yeah, yes, and Amy, and he will do it again. I'll link it down below. It's a very nice song. So I was just ultra. That was the song I was just singing. Like God, all your promises are yes and amen. You can't leave me. <laughs> I became a prayer warrior. You can't leave me. I didn't come to this city all by myself. Da 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 and da. I got an insult that ah, if you can't afford it, then why are you moving into the house? If you can't afford it, then go and stay somewhere cheaper. Something, something. I'm like, ah, that is not my fault. I was thinking it's the same way. I didn't know that. I didn't know how bad the situation were in Nigeria or at home and stuff like that. I was like, oh my God, what will I do now? Then the, my landlord just called and said, Ah, in the next two hours, if you don't, if you don't pack your stuff and leave the house, I'm going to use the policeman to call, arrest you because you've been always, you've been owing me, and that was not the agreement. And yeah, we we signed something like contracts, like the contract is as in if you you have to pay on the month you're supposed to pay. It was like yeah, I'm going to arrest you. That how would you be owing someone? Is it that you leave the house or something? Da 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 and da. I was like, oh my god. So I was like, okay, no problem now. And I told, and I called one of my friends again. And I said, okay, please do you know where I can get money from. And we went to the guy. The guy was like, oh, he's not around. That he doesn't have money to borrow some. Hmm. My sister, this time I was, in fact, I was devastated because I didn't know what to do. I was confused. I was like, oh my God, like, what will I do? what 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 can happen because it's only you that can provide a solution at this moment then i was just like okay i continue singing the song yes and amen you will do it again at a point what will i do in a new city so i we okay i'm my friend we're not leaving we were not going we were just leaving we're going we didn't know where to go we we're just walking singing the song and by the way this happened in um 2018 yeah 2018 yeah that was i came into the country 2018 january this happened 2018 march like i was really really new i was not what is march not even march that should be february because i've not resumed school so i was new i don't know anybody so the man was like okay so we were walking then that's how all of a sudden i met this guy that the, he, he does brought the change like your parents send him nera and he sends you give you the money in dollars so that's how he was like okay that you know so me was like ruth i've been looking for you all over the place where have you been your phone i was like oh my phone is off because i didn't want any distraction and i didn't want a situation whereby someone would call me and all i would just do was start crying on the phone and point out my problems because i've given up on uh, nobody can help the only person that can help now is God, and I don't know how he's going to do it. So he was like, oh, your dad sent me $500. I'm like, what? Yeah, my rent is $300 then. It was like, your dad sent me $500. I'm like, which of the dad? Is it my own dad or somebody else? It was like, you, are you know, I know Lua for Ruth. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm the one, of course. He was like, of course, your dad sent you money. I was like, oh, okay, well. And I said, oh, that take the money, that I'll send the money to your account. That's how my sister, my brother, let me eat first. Hmm. That's how God saved me. And I give all the glory to God because at that moment, I didn't know what to do. And this song was just coming up over and over again. So he gave me the money. I went to pay my rent. The first thing I did, I called my dad. God works in miraculous ways. Trust me. Just put your trust. It's how he's going to do it. It's none of your business. All you know that you want that to happen and you speak it forth. How it will happen. It's not your concern. Stop bothering yourself. We bother ourselves too much over the things that's none of our business. How is it going to happen? Oh, sometimes some of us even give God opportunity. Like when I mean give God opportunity, like you do some things and be like, oh God, this is your opportunity to do this. Did this say he can't provide opportunity for himself? So that's our... I got the five hundred dollars. I called my dad. That oh, how did you get the money? Because I know if you have, you will give. My dad is not that kind of person. Like if he has, surely he's going to give. And if he says he doesn't have, just know that he actually doesn't have. And probably I'm very sure. Not probably. I'm very sure he would have searched all over for the money because it's a real G, Mr. Agbeke. I love you. I love you. Let me eat small meat first. 
Mm. Mm. So that's how I got my rent. I called him. He said, Oh, that one of his friends from nowhere called him and sent him some money. I was like, Oh my god. I used to rest. He said, Yeah, that and he sent everything to me. I was like, Wow. God. Let me drink some water, please. Oh, let me have juice. Are you so let me know in the comment section? Do you prefer to drink water or take juice with your food? Because I know I my former housemates, she said she can't drink when she's eating food like this. She has to take water instead of juice. Ah, I like sugar too much. So, cheers. So, I was like, oh, the guy just sent him a message that this is the money he has and decides to give it to him. I'm like, oh my God. God is wonderful. Just all you need to do is trust jesus trust and trust and keep trusting this might not look good at the moment just know that it's always going to be there trust me and whatever the spirit says you should do do it go according to what the spirit says because probably when the song was coming to my mind i'll probably like, i beg why will i be is that the kind of song I'm supposed to be singing now? Ooh, what is yes and amen? She be said he won't forsake me, he won't leave me, da 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 and da. So why am I saying yes and amen? Because I've not gotten what I wanted yet. No, that's not your response. Your response should be faith to things in your... I know it's not easy. It's easier said than done. And that's why my last result was God, which was not supposed to be. God was supposed to be my first, not my last. So yeah, that's my testimony and... I got the money and for a few days before that i wasn't able to eat because i didn't have food in my house and stuff uh, i took myself shopping oh lord oh my logo hey your girl took herself to shop not shop unnecessarily like i bought the things i needed in the house of course and i kept the many money see i'm grateful i'm grateful for i'm just happy now am i not here yes i'm here eating with <laughs> I'm eating with yeah, an okra soup. Hmm. Enjoy my life. That's my testimony, and that's what I wanted to just you guys about. And encourage whoever is going through any problem that just trust in God that is able to do whatever He says He will do. That there is nothing. In, I think it was in Luke. He says there's nothing impossible with God. There's nothing possible with God. And if you don't believe in God, trust me, brothers and sisters, try. Not try. Just believe. Just receive it. Receive the love he has given to you and is giving to you every day. Just receive it and trust me, everything will be fine. I'm not I'm not telling you that you won't have problems in your life, but there will be peace. Like, you know that no matter what you're going through, there's somebody there with you. And I also, I'm grateful for the friends and family. And that's why it's important to surround yourself with good people. They might not necessarily be rich people, but they try to encourage you, words of encouragement and stuff. And if you have friends and you yourself as a person, try and always encourage the people around you. You might not be able to give them money or, or patronize their business. If you have friends that they do all these kind of things, share their videos, all those kind of things is a form of support. That's what you have and that's what you're giving i'm not saying you should go and break the bank because you want to support your friend though. don't call my name don't call my name <laughs> anyways i think i will end the video there today if you guys have gone through anything if there's any experience you want to share and to, to um encourage people comment down below let us know it's there's from the words of a man there's testimony so your testimony can lead someone to something good can encourage somebody can give somebody energy so just comment down below i'm going to finish up my food of course and i'll see you guys next time so don't forget to like share and subscribe please subscribe i'm trying to just subscribe <laughs> please subscribe support our business subscribe share to your friends and family and i will see you guys next time love you